We kick off our top 10 tonight with officials blaming arson for another abandoned building fire in Northeast Detroit. It happened this evening on McNichols and Monarch. 7 Action News reporter Bethany Moore joins us live now. And Bethany, what are authorities telling you? Well, they say that these fires are happening far too often and they believe they are being started on purpose. Flames poured from this building in northeast Detroit, filling the air with smoke for miles. We kind of were just sitting here and we smelled smoke and we looked over and it was a huge flame of black clouds. We went defensive on this. It was a very dangerous building. The walls collapsed on it. Fire crews were able to get it under control in about an hour. We got the fire under control, working with the best fire department in the world. Everybody was safe. No one was hurt. Fires under control. Hearing those sirens and smelling that smoke has become common out here. They're everywhere and fires happen all the time. They're, all the, they're out here all the time. Chief Jefferson says they're called out to this area six to ten times a week. We get a lot of fires in this neighborhood. We had the uh, bakery last week right next door and we get uh, dwelling fires to the north and the south. We get lots, lots of fire service in this neighborhood. Chief says like this one, he thinks most of the abandoned building fires are arson. You know, vacant buildings with no utilities hooked up to them they just don't catch on fire by themselves. He doesn't know why people are setting these fires. I wish I could tell you, you know, a lot, a lot of people like to see this. You see people with cameras taking pictures. You know, a lot of people get off on this. And it's almost impossible to catch these guys. But the chief has faith. Well, we, we, we really don't catch them, but, um, you know, karma, karma will get you sometimes. Now, the chief really wants to encourage people that eyewitness reporting can help them out. So if you see anything suspicious, then please report it. Reporting live, Bethany Moore, 7 Action News. Indeed, good advice there. Bethany Moore, thank you so much.